All I wanted to do was to cross things off my to-do list. I didn't want to sleep. I didn't want to rest. It was my body that wanted all that. Should I be mad at my body? I was finally going to have a clear schedule today. Maybe I should have started working earlier. Maybe I should have been more focused and working harder. Maybe I should have worked smarter. I hate that term. It says my current workings aren't smart enough and I just want to cease to exist. To reject all notions of thrive, of strive, of standard. To forego the little dance and live in a granyard and sing. To reject this common goal of higher education and graduation and graduate school. All that language makes me feel like a tool in a pool for a language I don't want to speak that's being forced on me. But I chose to be here. I feel like letting go of my dreams because they're so big that they make me feel small and I'll never be tall enough to enjoy them. But these feelings, I'm supposed to annoy them. I'm supposed to constantly look on the bright side and let the darkness thrive on its own because that's what happens when my light is gone. Focus just on the bright side. I feel like a woman and less than a man because I can't forego my feelings to accomplish my goal and polarize with no current clear overlaying faith in and of the middle. I don't want to be comforted. I don't want the bright side. I want to be alive and to be told it sucks. I want to hear my roommate whistling and to tell her to shut up. I want to pull the string on the shuttle before my stop even if we were near my stop just to see what will happen. I want to live in spasm and impulse and I don't know why. I overstep in communication and change up the situation without ever letting one thought fully breathe before another. Kill me please. I am unfit for this world and the one that I want where we can be honest and upfront only lives in my head. And the notion of the motion to create it without a potion makes me want to lay in my bed and never leave my head. I'll keep it here instead. I don't know what my prefrontal cortex is doing, but whatever it's pursuing, it's going backwards because my impulse control is out of control. But I'm asking, well, is something wrong with me? How long will I lie to myself and lie to my body that I don't need help and meds are a sacrifice to your body? How many days will I lie and say I am okay when in reality I am dying inside and might need routine pills to build routine, function, and stay alive? Or am I normal and overpathologized? I'll never have the money to find out. Sometimes being a victim feels good and never again will I let a should tell me what to do, or at least that's how I want to. Sometimes I don't make sense and it makes me mad because how will I survive and thrive in a place where people don't understand what it looks and feels like for me to be alive? I don't want to be positive. But if I sit here, nothing great will ever get done. I think about that sometimes when I look at the buildings and the systems us human beings have created for ourselves. The ones who actually created the buildings and the systems, they probably didn't mean to go to work all day. I mask a lot. I experience a lot of dissonance in myself because sometimes I just don't know what to do, where I should go, what I should choose. All these rules, all these rules, all these rules. They make me feel constricted, so I want to do its work and feel so small to the point where I never existed anymore, to even the score. Why do things have to make sense in the first place? I feel unlovable in this way. I want to run away, but then nothing would ever get done. I just wanted to cross some shit off my to-do list. If only you knew, if only you knew what goes on in my, my, mm. it's crazy over here. <laughs>